haven't been to Walmart in a while, so let's see what they have to offer. We do have Lefty, which I need since I had a broken one and I had to return it. There's some exclusives in here that I need, but they're not selling these. <laughs> this is a chase. They put a chase in the case. That's funny. <laughs> Nothing really. Here's some of their Transformers. There's the vintage ones. I really hope they have Bumblebee. I don't see one. Nope. No Bumblebee, unfortunately. Let's see what they got at Target. Interesting. I really wish they had the Captain Marvel exclusive, but I think that releases the first or something like that. Yeah, nothing really good here. Alright, so it looks like they have some Ushis here, but I think it's of a series that I've. Oh no, this is actually a completely different series. I was thinking it was a series that I've always been getting, but. So I think I'm probably going to get a few of these, just for fun. And I think Target still has a buy two, get one free on movies, so I'm probably going to get a couple of movies too. There's some like hangers too. Don't really care for these though. And then the DreamWorks ones, I don't care for those either, but yeah, I'll probably get a few of these. Hope to get lucky. At Barnes & Noble now, and look at all this stuff here. Wow, they really changed it up here. There's some Mickey. Definitely need the steamboat one. Buy one, get one 50% off. Hmm. I might have to get a couple. I hope it's all pops, not just these. I'm sure it's all pops. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like they're all buy one, get one 50% off. So I'll have to see what I have to pick. I think I'll definitely get a Steamboat Willie. I'll just have to find something else. All right, at Russ right now, and there's a Target exclusive pop. Kind of funny. Another one right there. They're both trash though. Don't really see anything else. All right, that's gonna do for today's video. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done like a real hunt, so I was hoping that video was good enough for you guys. You know, going to a few places rather than just one this time around. Um, but yeah, so. I got quite a bit of stuff, um, mainly off camera because there are a lot of online purchases, but um, so let's start right over here. I was able to get the Unicorn Deadpool off Mercari for I think it was 35 maybe, um, or I think it was 30 so that's a pretty good deal. Um, didn't want the the whole box, I didn't want to have to pay 40 for the the full box with just a bunch of other random stuff in it, so I just wanted the pop. Glad to have that one. Also got these two Venom Pops at Barnes & Noble. I didn't record them, but I ended up finding them right before I left out. Um, I thought I was going to get Steamboat Willie, but uh, then I found these two and I needed these. So I was able to get the Iron Man Venom and the Captain America Venom. So pretty cool. Also off Mercari, I got the Inmate Harley Quinn finally. 
So now I'm one step closer f to finishing my Suicide Squad set. I just need the um, Dr. Harleen, which is really like expensive. Like it's like 35 at the least. Um, and it's just a Walmart exclusive. So I don't know if I want to spend that yet, but I might have to. But for now, I'll just wait. Future vertical here to say that I actually did get the Dr. Harleen. So now I pretty much have the Suicide Squad set complete. Um, Diablo isn't here, but he is at my dad's house, so, for reasons, but yeah. So yeah, Suicide Squad set pretty much finished. And then on, off eBay, I got the Unmasked Flash. So really glad to have that. And that pretty much kind of completes my Justice League set that I want to have. There's like a lot of other pops there that I don't want in the set, so out of the ones that I want in the set, I've pretty much completed, so yeah, really glad to have him. So for some GameStop purchases, I got the Batman Who Laughs right there. Really, really dope pop. Glad to have him. But uh, yeah, since they're kind of making a lot of the Dark Knights um, comic book characters, so you know, the um, Green Lantern version of Batman, Dawnbreaker, I think it's called. They're making him. He's a Hot Topic exclusive, and I can't wait to get him. Hopefully I can get him pretty soon. Um, and I really hope they make Red Death, because that's probably like one of my favorite Batman's versions of Batman. So uh, yeah, hopefully they make that one. Um, next is the Jim Lee Flash. I don't think I've shown this one yet. But yeah, I got him to go with a couple other Jim Lee ones. So I think he's pretty cool. I like his pose. And then right on over here with Five Nights at Freddy's, I was able to get Mr. Hippo. I think this was also uh, GameStop, I think. Yeah, I think it was GameStop. So uh, glad to have him. He's a really funny character in the game, so it's pretty cool. So I just need Lefty, um, and then the Rockstar, Foxy, and Freddy. To complete the little simulation pizzeria simulator line then up here see if you guys can see them i was able to get the other two gamer mickey and mini pops kind of hiding back they're kind of hiding back there but i was able, able to get those two so glad to have those with my other gamer mickey up there also my aunt ordered this for me and it was the purple and blue uh, Mickey Mouse. This is probably my second favorite from that one. So glad she ordered it for me because I was kind of contemplating if I wanted it or not. So she just went ahead and got it for me. And from the last episode, this was Tailgate. I didn't actually show you guys what it looks like in vehicle mode. So this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I like this uh, vehicle mode. So yeah, you're just kind of sitting up there for now. All right, down here, I was able to get the original Patrick off of Mercari for 30, 35, I think, um, out of box, but I would have taken it out of box anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so I have the Squidward, uh, Patrick and SpongeBob original versions. So uh, hopefully I can get uh, Mr. Krabs and Sandy someday. They're pretty expensive though, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait for the new SpongeBob pops that was announced from uh, London Toy Fair. Those ones look so good, so yeah, hopefully I can get those when they come out. And I've kind of rearranged it a little bit, so this shelf right here is basically Nickelodeon. So this is all my Nickelodeon pops, and I'll definitely have room for the new SpongeBob pops. And then up here is kind of like Cartoon Network stuff or Hanna Barbera. And then down here, you may wonder where my spastic plastics went. So, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, this one I think is new as well. I don't think I showed you guys that. Todoroki. He's really cool. Don't watch the show, but I love the look of the pop, so. Yeah, anyways, so, yeah. I moved my spastic plastics, and, uh, let me show you where I moved them. Ta-da! Yep. So... If you guys recall from the last video, this uh, in my closet looked a lot different. So, uh, 
cleaned up a little bit, put a lot of my extra pops that I didn't want or, you know, pops that I would have up for trade, um, and my holiday ones, put them in a box. Um, I do want to get a shed soon, soon, um, to put all my stuff in, all my storage stuff to put in a shed. Um, so hopefully I can get a shed soon, but, so, uh, but yeah, I figured these little spice racks, you know, they work really well, so I got six of them in here, and here's my spastic plastics so far. Since my collection is growing, um, with the spastic plastics, I figured that shelf that was back there is a little too small, so, uh, went ahead and moved them in here, and then Here's my transformers in here. I do have a couple more coming soon, so you'll see a video on those, but so yeah, that's how my transformers are for now. Some extra stuff. But uh and then this one's a new one, Psycho Shriner. Really glad to have him finally a version of him at least. Because the the purple one and the glow and dark one, those are really expensive right now, so I don't know if I'll ever get those. Yeah, really glad to have a version of him. I like the color too, the teal. So, yeah, so, yep, there's all my spastic plastics. I also went to Walmart some time ago. Uh, I didn't record it, but they had the new LEGO minifigure 2, or the LEGO 2 um, minifigures. So, uh, I was able to get the ones I wanted. So, first, we have the giraffe costume guy there. Reminds me of Jeffrey, so I had to have him. And then we have the watermelon guy. Looks really, really dope. And then the purple crayon, which I love that the crayon came in purple because purple is my favorite color. So I thought that was pretty uh, great that they did that. And little printed piece there looks cool. But yeah, so uh, really glad to have those three minifigures. I also got a couple Ushis at Target. I got a couple doubles, so I got the Glow in the Dark Clark Kent again, and another Hologram Shazam again. I have like 50 of those. But new ones I got were White Lantern Wonder Woman, and then Firestorm up there. So yeah, those are pretty cool to get new. All right, and finally, what I want to show you guys is probably like one of the coolest things I've gotten is this guy right here. This is the Toy of the Year Award, Freddy Award that uh, Funko gave out. So, uh, if you don't recall, uh, you know, Funko won a category in the Toy of the Year Award. So, for a thank you, they decided on their blog, if you put in, like, your information, you know, where to send something to or whatever, you get a chance to, uh, receive this in the mail. And, uh, luckily, I was one of those people. And I think Isaiah Hunts, um, he also got one of these, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, Yeah. Really like this Freddy. Smaller than I imagined, like from the pictures that Funko shows, it looks bigger. Um, it's still cool though. It's a, a nice little compact size. So, uh, yeah. Really, really cool. But yeah, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, hopefully I can hunt more. We'll see. A lot of them has just been buying stuff online, so there isn't really any kind of uh, hunting to do. I could probably record me buying stuff online but that's yeah that's probably not gonna be interesting so uh yeah um eccc should be coming up so um within the next month so uh yeah hopefully uh, i'll have some reveal videos out there for you because I, I love doing those type of videos so uh yeah i can't wait um also new york toy fair is coming up as well so i'm really excited for those reveals i don't think i'll do a video on those but um, I'll probably share my opinions in some way, you know, and maybe another hunt video, but anyways All right, so I've been rambling on too long, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video Peace